So before we get started with this video, we have some shout outs. Shout outs go to Brian Galeas, Smithy Vlogs, Sandbox Forever, Falco Flair, Harrison Schneider, Liquid Snake, Ryan, Annabelle Zanelli, Kieran the Legend 123, Slouchy Bike 04143, and Ruben Pugh. That's all your shout outs, and now let's get into the video. So, what am I going to report on today? Energylandia have just unveiled their brand new land, Aquilantis, including their new Vacoma Shockwave Plus coaster, Abyssus. <laughs> Hello there guys, my name is Chris Shadlock's the Bob Bob Buff Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News update from Energylandia. Now before we get started, you just saw our shout out central uh, for the start of the video there. That's how the videos are going to operate. I think with more shout outs coming in with the comments, uh, I think it's only fair that we do shout outs right at the beginning before the intro. Um, so if you want to shout out in our next video, comment down below your thoughts on today's news and that your shout out will be in one of tomorrow's videos. Next up, make sure you go check out our videos for over the past few days. Plenty of news updates to suit your own needs. You've got Furovic, Knott's Berry Farm, Drew World Australia. Um, got some stuff from, some other stuff from yesterday as well, from Universal's Epic Universe. Um, and plenty more projects like that. So we've got plenty of news stories to wet your whistle. And now let's get into this theme park news update. Now, of course, later on today, we do have other European updates uh, from Ravensburger Spielland, uh, which is a small amusement park in Germany. That's been pre recorded, that's ready to be uploaded uh, while you're watching this one. Uh, and of course, we've got another update as well. So uh, plenty uh, to get your teeth sunk into over the next few days. So this theme park news update is from Energy Landia. Now I share this on my Facebook and on Instagram and I'm just in awe of how beautiful this area looks. So this is Aqualantis. So this is opening on the 6th of April 2020. This is a whole new uh, themed area um, with a brand new roller coaster, some other attractions and the whole area atmosphere. Now we do have some other things that was announced with, with the interview uh, with Energylandia um, and some other announcements in terms of the rest of the park so we're going to be bringing those details to you as well. Uh, before we get started let's get into some details as well showing some concept art from the new Aqualantis area. So if we put the concept art on your screen uh, while we talk about this let's go on about some details on Aqualantis. So in terms of the attractions you've got the double launch coaster which is the Shockwave Plus manufactured by Vacoma. Uh, this is going to be called Abyssus. Now many people predict that Aqualantis would be the name of the area not the coaster and that has come true and Abyssus will be the name of the roller coaster. Along with all that you've got a slow moving boat ride, something known as a Whirlpool water fight which looks like a one of these Zamperla water mania models uh, which is like a bit of a splash battle kind of thing. Uh, you've got a Zamperla disco coaster a big shop and big restaurant, as well as water jump shows known as Aqua Jump. Uh, now, the main tr mine train has been known as a secret for now, but that will also be coming in 2020. Obviously, we reported on the track uh, being on site for that. Um, so, yeah, as you can see on your screen already, you can see loads of big old concepts uh, for this uh, new area. Uh, I mean, to be fair, I'm, I'm probably thinking the same thing as you guys. It looks like a brilliant, brilliant new area. Um, you know, I'm really uh, excited about this development. I think it's going to be a great uh, area for the park. I think that uh, it's going to be a great um, investment for Energylandia. Now, in terms of other details that they mentioned during the uh, announcement, uh, basically... Um, they also said, so the most interesting things from the interview, uh, probably the park will be all year in 2023 to 2024, so that's around the time it will become a 365 day a year park, which is brilliant. Uh, Energy Landia still has to implement four projects co-financed with UE funds. They'll try to get fifth grant in 2020, so that'll be good. The hotel is postponed year after year because they decided not to only build the hotel, but a hotel with an indoor water park and this cart museum. 
in the old part of the park, there will be a few changes in theme and communication in the future as all new zones on the other side of the street will be much better communicated and themed. Now one thing to pick out from the concept arts uh, for this new Aqualantis area as an overall area is of course the family drop towers. Now they were in the original plans, however it seems like the family drop towers have been removed from the new concept images on the park. So it seems like they've not decided to go with the family drop tower uh, this time. So it should be interesting to see whether they're going to recycle those plans in a new area or they're going to bring those family drop towers into a different area of the park as a future plan. Um, so it should be interesting to follow that for the family rides. But in terms of the overall area, I've got to agree. I'm sure you guys will agree with me. It looks beautiful. It looks absolutely stunning. Brilliant new area. Of course, Jorovision, who I said we're going to be in charge of the theming for the coaster, they're going to be in charge with theming the whole area as well. So they're doing, they're doing, if it looks like exactly what it says on the concept, they're going to do a fantastic job with it. I think they're going to really do a good job with it. Um, obviously, this this year is an important year for me personally because I'm getting my passport sorted. Because uh, I'm going to Prague in May. Obviously, I'll try and get you guys some footage from Prague uh, whenever I can. Um, but one thing I'm really wanting to do is head out to Energylandia at some point in the future. Obviously it's in Poland, but apparently according to some people it's very easy to get to Poland by flight or by train. So, um, I mean, it's not the hardest part to get to from the UK. So, um, definitely one of the easiest trips to plan. But in the future I would like to try and get down to Energylandia because it seems like a very ever-growing park. Um, especially with this new investment coming in, the mine train, the rumoured tilt coaster for 2021. You know, the investments just don't stop. And the fact that they're going to get a fifth grant uh, next year is just incredible. You know, they've got four projects still uh, co-funded with the EU funds uh, and coinciding with those e uh, UE funds. Um, that they're still trying to implement. And now they're going to get a fifth grant next year. So this is going to be incredible this park's going to get so much funding it's unreal um and i can only think what kind of projects they're going to do next so i'm really excited about this project obviously you saw some of the concept arts on your screen uh, i mean the rides just look brilliant by the way if you notice there was like a white tube thing where the coaster is on some of the concept images that's just to sort of hide the coaster away so it can focus that image on like the other attractions, you saw some images of the disco coaster. It looks like a really good like overhead moment as you're sort of walking under the airtime hill, uh, like the Camelback airtime hill uh, of the attraction. So we can pretty much confirm from that that the disco coaster by Zamperla is going to be one of those like circular ones, like your Rumba Zumbas from Adventure Island and South End on Sea and um, Navigator from England. This is going to be the proper Camelback airtime hill one. This is like. Cobra at Chessington World Adventures Resort or the Edge at Poulton's Park. You know, this is the extended disco coaster. Um, bit weird that disco coasters aren't on Roller Coast Database, and a lot of people have said that online. But, you know, it's still technically flat rides, I guess. Um, if it wasn't a flat ride, then Pipe Scream at Cedar Point would technically be a coaster. <laughs> but, I am excited for this. I can't wait for it. It's going to be a brilliant project. This whole area is going to be a massive development uh, for Energylandia. So I'm really excited. I hope you guys are excited in the comments down below. Please comment down below your thoughts. Please do. I, I really want to see your thoughts in the comments down below. For now, guys, make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Comment down below and subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name's Coast Chal. Kill in the Coast of Life. And I'll see you guys in the next update very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.